So, as I mentioned in the previous video clip, here's the paper clip that I'm going to break with my bare hands and without much uh, or significant effort. So I'm just unfolding the paper clip. So now it's a wire. And maybe this is the easiest way. So without significant effort, but by imposing fluctuating forces, meaning I put the forces or I imparted force to this wire in a back and forth manner, thus causing the phenomenon or thus causing metal fatigue, which is the name for the phenomenon at which material fails or breaks or ruptures or fractures under a much lesser load compared to what it could sustain in case of static or stationary loading and we already saw that a similar wire that could hold about 5 kgs or 10 pounds of weight could easily break uh, in a few uh, few minutes if you will or a couple of minutes so as engineers you have to be aware that materials can incur fatigue due to fluctuating loading so for example if you are a civil engineer and you are designing a bridge and that you have to take into account the fluctuating loads maybe due to winds maybe due to water maybe due to traffic going on the bridge that could cause the materials or the structure to have back and forth loading for example vibrations in case of mechanical engineering or flutter in case of aerospace engineering where the wing is kind of fluttering uh, as, as air, aircraft flies. All those could cause catastrophic failure meaning unexpected sudden failure due to at much lower loads than what it was designed for assuming that uh, the design was not uh, the design did not consider or designer did not consider fatigue. Many times corrosion can uh, make the fatigue worse or set the reduce the fatigue strength of the material. So with that said, I'll stop here. Hopefully, uh, as novices or students uh, in middle school or high school, you found this sufficiently informative and interesting. So. Hopefully some, someday you will be fine engineers and remember uh, some of these precautions or cautionary, fin uh, or cautionary notes of mine related to the fatigue phenomena. Thank you for watching.